After two seasons behind the Kootenai Ice bench as an assistant, Todd Johnson is getting his chance to be a head coach for the University of Regina Cougars. It's just such a good fit. You know, I grew up in Regina. I'm a big believer in education. Uh, I work well with, uh, you know, players that, uh, that are in school. Uh, it just seemed like a perfect fit. And, you know, the longer the, that I thought about it and, and throughout this whole process, um, the more it just made sense. And, you know, I'm extremely excited to, you know, to get things moving in Regina. Um, but, but it's just been a great experience for myself. This was a great opportunity for Todd, obviously being his hometown. It kind of fits the criteria perfectly, being a CIS graduate, a WHL graduate, you know, where 90, I think 97% of the players in the CIS come from the Western Hockey League. I think it's a perfect fit, and uh, he's been a winner wherever he's been. Now Johnson is hoping his success and contacts from the WHL will help him on the recruiting front. I think it's just a relationship-based uh, business, and you know, if I can, you know, continue those relationships and continue the communication with those GMs and those coaches, then you know, I, I feel like I can, you know, recruit some top players to Regina. That being said, have you spoken to Joe Antilla and Jesse Esmond yet? I haven't. You know, I haven't done a whole lot of recruiting yet. It's been a, a little bit overwhelming the last week. I'm starting to get my ducks in a row. Obviously, those will be phone calls. Uh, I'll start recruiting here this week, later in this week, uh, early next week. Um, you know, there are players still playing that I would certainly like to talk to, uh, but I also respect that they're also in a playoff run, and you don't want to, you know, you don't want to mess that up as well. So, you know, it's it's an ongoing process, but yeah, communication is going to start real soon. Ice President and GM Jeff Chenelf feels Johnson's likability will also help him turn around a program that went 5-20-3 and three a season ago. One of the things that sets Todd apart is his personality. He is great with people. His people, people skills are unbelievable. And, you know, I think uh, it won't take long for him to turn that program around to the University of Regina. And, uh, you know, those are things that he's just a good person. The Kootenai Ice have a 4-1 to lead and are going to the Memorial Cup. And Johnson leaves the Kootenays with plenty of good memories thanks to a WHL championship in year number one. But that's not all he'll remember fondly. Well, I mean, last year was pretty special. We obviously went in the WHL championship, but I think the most uh, what I'll take away from here will be, you know, my relationship with Chris and my relationship with Jeff. Um, you know, I've learned an awful lot from both those two. Um, they've they given me a lot of responsibility, you know, uh, and again, a lot of the things that, that I've learned and have uh, experienced in the last couple of years, obviously I'm going to take that forward to, to Regina and, ho and my plan is to make it successful. And, you know, you look at Kootenai Ice, there's no surprise why it's successful here. Everyone's on board. There's accountability from top to bottom, and that's exactly what I'm going to, that's the approach I'm going to be taking in Regina. So now the search begins for Johnson's replacement, and while there's plenty of interest, no timetable has been set. I think I had four resumes by, uh, you know, two hours after the announcement, and, you know, that's what coaches do. They're always looking to move on, and, uh, you know, I think from our situation, I, I, I think that, you know, people want to come here because of our track record that uh, we've been very fortunate to move coaches and other staff to other, you know, to higher levels. So I think that, you know, not that we're any different than any other WHL organization, but, you know, with our track record, I definitely think it, it helps, and, uh, you know, we've got a lot of candidates. We're in no rush to make a decision, and uh, we'll sit down, Chris and I, at a later date and uh, start planning the process. Blaine Evans, Shaw TV, Cranbrook.